Well, welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we'll be going over the New Balance 558 Silhouette. This was officially only released at Kip stores, and this is known as the White Gray Toe White. Let's take a quick CP. unboxing and review. Today we'll be talking about the New Balance 550 Silhouette, this time in the clean white gray toe color scheme. Again, this was exclusive, released only at Kith Store. So we'll go through this overview, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this fresh color for the spring. And then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. I have to say I had to swap boxes because the original box that was sent to me was absolutely destroyed. I couldn't even honestly call it a box. It was a different shape that I have not seen with, seen before on a New Balance box. Uh, it was pretty damaged and it was definitely not due to the postal service just because when I opened the box, the box was in mint condition except for the interior box. So that is why I replaced it with a box that I can actually set the sneakers on top of. Uh, but this is yet again, another 550 New Balance what you've probably seen many of these on the channel uh, but for those of you who are looking for just like a basic clean sneaker and you don't want to be like everybody else with the same white sneaker this is definitely an amazing option for you uh, one of the things that is very subtle is kind of the color blocking combination you can't really see it in pictures when i saw this in pictures honestly it only looks like there are hits of gray and white but there's actually some other color tones throughout uh, they're very subtle but you definitely need to have these in the bright light or in natural light in order to see them. But on the front, we've got a suede texture and heather gray and then smooth white leather. Working our way up to the tongue, it's laced in white laces. Underneath is almost like a bluish tint to this white for the meshing. We do have subtle hints of that heather gray that kind of pop on top of the tongue underneath the New Balance and its logo. Uh, and on the interior, you can see as well that this white color scheme has almost like like this blue dyed effect to it. It's very subtle, but definitely is not a crisp white color scheme. All right, so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. Wrapping around to the side panels, we've got some nice just cream tones, which are very subtly placed on the lining here. The New Balance is in a very sheen white tone. And then as we work our way to the back side paneling, you'll see that we do have more hits of this just kind of light creamy beige tone that's on the top of the midsole, portions of the collar here, and then we circulate back to that kind of light tinted bluish white tone on the back of the collar. And then New Balance is in this light creamy beige tone as well. On the interior, it's pretty much just white, two tones of white, again, that bluish whitish tone, and then just a simplistic white on top of that. Uh, and then we've got that same pattern and color blocking scheme on the lateral side, and 
and we have the 550 logo as well in that beige cream tone. Working our way to the midsole, we've got just a nice clean white tone for the midsole and the bottom is in more of a uh, creamy kind of white tone. It's a little bit more aged not exactly the beige cream tone that you see here, but definitely a different subtle change from the white that you see predominantly on the top of the midsole. All right, so let's take a look at those details, then uh, we'll jump into size and fit. All right, so as far as the 550s go in men's sizing, I always go half a size down. I do find that the men's size range in the 550s do run a little bit on the larger side, so these fit me perfectly. Again, I do have higher chin feet, so do take that into consideration when deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, now let's jump into how I styled this really simplistic colorway. For this look, I definitely wanted to dress it up a bit, decided to go with monochromatic, all white, just because it's such a clean color scheme to rock with this nice, simple color palette. I decided to go with a little bit warmer of a look. So this is a button down light blue shirt that's cropped and I decided to go with some nice Bermuda shorts and a navy colorway. Definitely can't wait for the warmer weather to come here in New York because this is definitely some of the pieces I'll probably be most likely wearing this spring. I decided to go with this blazer bedazzled kind of look to make it a little more on the dressy side with some nice just tight fitted light denim jeans and I wanted to go with a little bit of some color on here just because this is such a nice basic color that it really pretty much goes with everything it has a little bit of subtleties of that like heather gray on the front of the toe box but definitely a nice just easy to wear with sneaker Yeah. She said she don't wanna leave, ain't even playing for keeps. Yeah, yeah. Can 
nobody tell me what I can't do Got a plenty of aces that life hands you Feeling like my body understands you Maybe we could take this all away Spend another day Chilling, making days Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So the price point for these is $110. They are currently going between 110 to 170 on the resale market. Again, if you're looking for something different than your typical standard white sneaker, this is pretty unique, especially when you have it in hand. Again, it's not just a basic white sneaker, uh, but this is definitely something that will go with so many, uh, so many things in your wardrobe. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you on the next episode.